Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. We are playing as Danny the Demon. Last episode, we started a new world and we are playing on T Mod Loader 1.4 with the newest version of Calamity. So we've got the Journey's End stuff. You can see I also built a base in between episodes. I wanted it to be kind of like the mix between the underworld and also kind of like a farm cottage. So I wanted to have kind of lava plants and a nice little sitting area right here. You can see we can sit because it's 1.4. And then I made a little garden with strange plants and I've got kind of the soil being ash. Oh, I also made a big area for NPCs. I wanted just a place for all the NPCs that I never use. Oh, this guy though. I could buy some wood from. I'm not going to really bother with NPC happiness because it's not a mechanic that I'm super into. I can buy some ice blocks from this guy because I haven't found an ice biome yet. Let's see real quick if there's any good stuff we can craft. Ooh, like an ice boomerang. Excellent. And a blizzard in a bottle, for sure. We gotta craft that. We need those feathers, though. Oh, and I realized we also need to probably buy sand. We'll need sand to craft our sandstorm in a bottle. I really want to do that upgrade tree in this playthrough. Get the different balloons and, like, upgrade it to the Moab and all that stuff. Because I feel like it's a really good movement accessory. Um, we got the desert medallion that we'll need to craft as well. That'll be probably our first boss. So we need lots of sand. And I like to keep our deserts and different biomes nice and clean. Like, I don't like to cut down all the trees. I like to just buy the wood, and that way we can still have lots of pretty trees. Oh, another thing I did was set up a magic storage. I have a bunch of the storage compartments down below, and I linked them so our base can look nice and clean. And I like to just import these because it's just a quality of life thing. I know you can kind of craft them throughout the game, and that's technically the way you should do it. Ooh. We can craft a Wolfram Blade now. Let's do that. But I like to just have them from the get-go because it just makes it so much simpler throughout the playthrough because I just don't like to manage inventory. Another thing I did was build an arena right here above our base. It's a good one just to fight all sorts of random bosses. Like first, probably the uh, Eye of Cthulhu there, maybe the King Slime, things like that. Ooh, cool, we got a desert. Let's see if we got enough power to take these guys down. I'm actually pretty strong here. Oh, we could go down into the crimson biome and hope to get one of those spears. Gotta watch out for fall damage. Man, we really match this biome. <laughs> Blend right in. It's always fun to get moving in the playthrough and actually start getting a little bit of defense and offense and all that. Wow, this is amazing. Look how many altars there are. Incredible. It's like the most altars I've ever seen in this type of biome. Oh, we already have a cyst. That's crazy. We are definitely not ready for that, though. Okay, let's just go break one of these. I think what I'll do is wall ourselves in. That way we won't have any interruptions. And we can craft some sticky bombs. So the first is the Undertaker. Okay, this looks like it could be very treacherous. So let's get down here and build the walls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we did it. <laughs> that slime didn't get us. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, cool. We got a Crimson Heart. I might actually use that. That's a nice light accessory. And on we go. There are so many vines here. And I think these do a decent amount of damage to us. Enough that I can try to avoid them. Hopefully we will get to an ice biome or something soon. There we go. I said it and we got it. We're looking for the shiver thorns. There we go. So we got enough now to get an ice boomerang. Oh sweet, we found some trees. We should have a tree house over here. Still no underground desert. I was hoping to get the burning sienna, I think is the name of the weapon, from the underground desert. I think one of the mobs down there drops it. Whoa, are we near the dungeon already? 
this is an interesting spawn point for a tree. It's like right in the middle of the dungeon. Yeah, you can actually see the dungeon on both sides. Maybe we'll find a random nature chest in the dungeon because we didn't find one here. Uh, maybe with our boomerang we can actually kill this thing. Uh, let's see what we can do. I think I'm going to need to run. Just take it nice and slow. Throw down some torches. Maybe we should actually use iron skin and shine. Let's just tank it. Do more damage and kill it fast. There we go. We did it. Yeah, with a melee character, sometimes that's the best method. Just run in and slash it a whole bunch, especially with all of this true melee damage we do. Oh, that's weird. There's an underwater tree. A whole bunch of underwater trees. And then I think this just switched to be Sulfurous Sea. Oh, no. We got to get out of here. I don't know if I've noticed this new background. The eyeballs in the back? That looks so cool. That is super creepy. Man, we're getting so many of these mushrooms. This is great. We need that to craft something for Louis AFK. Uh-oh. Man, I can't wait to get our shield of Cthulhu so we can dash into these enemies and get immunity frames. We can try entering the ocean real quick. We might die down here. But let's just see if we can find a chest before we do. Please no shark. Please no shark. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> I guess they've got eels. That's pretty intense. Okay, well, if we don't have a proper entrance to our desert, it's time to try building one. Because we really need to fight our first desert boss. And in order to do that, we need to find the storm lions. Well, this seems like a decent spot to start digging. Let's just give this a try. Here we go. This is it. Excellent. So it just looks like we had an oasis that spawned above the desert, and so we don't have a desert entrance. Okay, cool. Oh no. The 1.4 desert. So challenging. Okay, I see a storm lion up there. Let's do this. We got rage. We're ready to go. There we go. Honestly, these cactus skulls are a lot nicer in this playthrough because they do a lot of damage to the mobs. Uh-oh. They'll do a lot of damage to me too. I just have to be careful with them. But with a long-range weapon, I can kind of use them to my advantage. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I need to craft my, my new um, boomerang. The ice boomerang. So to craft our boomerang we just need an ice machine and now we should be able to do it. Perfect. And it's got 31 melee damage. Wow that's a lot better. So I went ahead and crafted a desert medallion and built a desert arena. So let's go ahead and fight our first boss, the desert scourge. I think with this weapon we're doing pretty good damage. Oop, I need to remember. I can't dodge. Like with a dash. So if I can just get some adrenaline going. No, I lost my adrenaline. This isn't bad. Ah, that's bad. I need to keep an eye out for these bosses a little more. Oh, 
Man, this is a good weapon for this boss. Obviously, I know there's a lot of better ones, but I didn't want to wait too long. Plus, we can actually get some pretty good upgrades here. We almost have Rage and Adrenaline going, too. Oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't realize how I had half health and a head hit kills me in one hit. I think instead of going right into that boss, I think I'm actually going to go get a few more hearts. Because 160 health, I can technically do it, but I would like to have just a little bit more wiggle room. Oh, another thing I did was build the start of a elevator. It's just very basic for now. And I didn't go exploring because I don't like to do too much off camera, just in case something cool happens. Oh, we have um, more of this ore. We could potentially mine it up. I need to figure out how these work. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it changes directions based off the way you're looking. Oh my goodness. This is a heavily guarded treasure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> there was so much TNT and everything all around it. Well, I did need to go back to base anyways. And it's not like we're trying to do zero deaths here, so we're good. Yeah, we can do the Blood Butcher already. This is the first time I've ever had enough Crimtane just from mining it with bombs and everything. So let's do it. Oh, we got it as a pointy one. So that's quite a bit stronger than what we've got already. Whoa, that looks good. We look pretty epic here. So if you hear the faint sound of a dog barking, that is one of my dogs. I've got two dogs. They're amazing. One of them started barking for no reason, like almost every day. I think she just finds it fun. And she's realized that she can just do that whenever she wants for no reason. So I don't know. Maybe there's some noise that I can't hear. But we've had her for almost 10 years and all of a sudden she just decides she wants to bark. So this is a weird playthrough so far because there's a lot of different things about our world that I'm not used to. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. We managed to survive. That was so close. Got a vital jelly. Nice. Actually, that's pretty good. If I could re-roll that, I'd use that. Okay, this looks like a lab that might not have any robots in it. Sweet. I was worried I was going to get killed by a laser here. Whoa, we got five gravitation potions. Eight gold. This means we can go up into the sky and go get some feathers and start crafting some of our new jumps. Like the... Oh, and a mana jelly. Got both of our pre-hard mode jellies. There we go. Got two more hearts. Getting some health. You really have to get health in this game when each enemy's doing like 50 damage. Oh, cool. We got a crawdad. Oh, nice. This carapace does a lot of defense. Enemies take damage. Perfect. We'll swap that out for our little shackle. Ooh, a giant shell. 10 defense. Um, so it's a material. Yeah, this upgrades later on. I think this one is a material as well. Um, it does reduced movement speed. Taking a hit will make you move fast for a short time. Huh. Maybe I'll give that a try. Because I don't think this is going to reduce my movement speed all that much. So already we've got 24 defense and this is before we can even re-roll anything. Pretty happy with that. Those two accessories we got are incredible. If we could get both of those to warding, we'd be so tanky. Let's put all this away. Does anyone know how to change this deposit all button? Because right now when I click, it just quick stacks, but I have to control click to deposit all. And I prefer to just click and deposit all. 
So I don't know if there's a way to change that in the menu. I looked for it, couldn't really find it. Oh, we're actually pretty strong for being up here. Usually I go up here, I guess, when I'm weaker. Oh, we get wings? That's amazing. <laughs> okay, let's try these wings out. Interesting. Those are actually pretty good. Okay, a balloon. Perfect. And I think while I'm at it, I'm going to throw some torches and just move some NPCs that we never use, like the die trader, into these buildings. And I can't help myself. Too much iron ore. Think of all the iron skin potions we can make with this. Yeah, let's just put these right back down, and later, post Moon Lord, we can come back and use them. Oh, we have an evil presence watching us. Uh oh. We should probably make sure we heal up and get back to base. Use all of our life crystals. I think this is going to be the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, sweet! We got a sharpening station. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I don't want to push my luck. Oh, we need to make sure we get our boots. No, we don't have our sprint boots. Okay, so that was a bad start. We were without our boots. Already taking a ton of damage. I removed our fungal symbiote. I don't think it's going to do much for us if we're using a boomerang. So I wanted to make sure we had our best chance. And we definitely needed some sprint. Honestly, not bad so far. But I know the end of this fight is when it gets bad. What we need is some adrenaline. And I'm not going to get adrenaline today. Okay, well, I just used some buffs. I had totally forgotten we had some iron skin. Uh oh. Rage, there we go. <laughs> Take that. Wow, that was exciting. <laughs> and now we can use the Shield of Cthulhu. And now we can craft a Sandstorm in a bottle. That's going to be really good. This one has 2% damage. Much better than a Cloud in a bottle. And we might even be able to craft a Blizzard in a bottle as well. And that one's precise. So now we've got all three bottles, all three of the uh, balloons. So we're good to craft a bundle of balloons pretty soon. All we need is a goblin invasion. Wow, the rainstorm was super intense, but actually really fast. In fact, we just had our first rainstorm in real life in a long time. We've had such a drought this summer and it's been so hot. But we had our first rain and it was amazing. We had a double rainbow too. And let's try this boss out. I wonder if we can land some true melee hits. We just have to be careful and kind of plan where the boss will be. Can take a few more hits, but we're gonna get more damage out for sure. Actually, maybe we'll just go with the tried and true melee range boomerang strategy. Hopefully after this boss though, we can start using a lot of modded weapons. I want to try sticking to modded weapons, mostly. 
Here we go. Man, I'm taking so many hits. Thank goodness we are tanky, but I need to um, actually focus. <laughs> Don't want to die on this boss. That would be very embarrassing to die right now. Uh, I say that as I take a head hit. Okay, the little minions are gone. Here we go. Just start pumping out some damage. Nah. <laughs> I saw that one coming. Just decided. I'm just gonna wait and get hit. Okay, we got a heal. Oh, that would have been a great time to switch to melee. Ah, once again, those head hits. Oh good, that was a nice dodge. And we got some rage. Take that. There we go. Defeated him. Oh, we have a Desert Scourge Relic. I thought that was like a Master Mode exclusive. Kind of cool that we can get it in Expert. And we have an Angler Kit. Cool. The Arrow Stone. So now that we've got this Ocean Crest and some Big Tide that we'll be able to craft soon. We can farm this boss up a few more times and then we'll be able to do the Sunken Sea probably. I think there's some good upgrades there, the Giant Clam and the NPC that we get from the Giant Clam. That'd be nice. Well, I think that's a great place to end this episode. We defeated the Eye of Cthulhu and the Desert Scourge. We went into the sky, got a whole bunch of new items, and we are ready to go for some more bosses next episode and a bunch more upgrades. This playthrough's off to a great start. It's going to be a ton of fun. If you're enjoying this series so far, be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch the next episodes. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.